Would you love to dramatically increase your prices and still be fully booked? I'm sure you would. But if you're struggling to find clients even with your low to average prices, it might seem impossible or even crazy to think that you might then go and increase them. Well, bear with me and I'm going to tell you why it's not impossible or crazy. Let's think about all the potential clients out there. Most of them are looking to pay low to average prices. It's just a fact. And we're not going to blame them for that because price is a huge factor for most of us when we're shopping for a service. So because you realize that the majority of potential clients are very price conscious, that's how you price your photography. But the problem is, that's what all your competitors are doing too. They might even be much cheaper than you. The one thing that you all have in common is that you're targeting the same people. You're marketing to and you're serving the majority. So let's say in one area you might have hundreds of potential clients looking to hire a photographer at any one time. Sounds good. But not when you realize that there are also hundreds of photographers looking to win that client. So no wonder no one is fully booked. It's almost impossible to be fully booked when you're marketing to the majority like this. The competition is simply too fierce. So you might think it makes sense trying to reach the majority, but there aren't enough clients in the majority to sustain all the photographers who are now trying to win them over. So let's think about the minority of your potential clients for a moment. Let's think about the potential client who's looking for something more, something more from their photographer. Although they still think about price, it's not the highest priority for them. They're looking for a higher end service, a higher end product, and a higher end experience, and they are willing to pay a lot more to get it. Who's marketing to that potential client. From what I see every day on my Facebook and Instagram feed, hardly anyone. Think about it. How many photographers in your area can you confidently say are aiming their marketing at that potential client? No one's marketing to these guys. Whilst all of your competitors are frantically trying to win the affections of the majority, you could be stepping away from that mess entirely and aiming all your marketing efforts towards the minority, towards those clients who are sitting there waiting for a photographer who actually understands what it is they desire, towards those clients who'll pay anything from three times to 10 times more for the right service and the right product. What would fully booked look like to you if you were doing this. Before I quadrupled my prices, fully booked to me was 12 clients a month. That's how many bookings I needed to make the profit I wanted to make. After quadrupling my prices, I only had to find three clients, not 12. And not only that, because I was marketing to the minority, no longer did I have much competition. No one else was really marketing to these guys. Now we're all running very different businesses and we all have very different priorities. You might run a big studio and fully booked to you might mean 100 clients a month. You might be a parent to four kids under five and fully booked to you might mean two clients a month and even that's probably too many. It doesn't matter because the principle is the same. Think about it. Wouldn't you rather serve less clients at a higher price point than more clients at a lower price point? Doesn't it make sense to be fully booked with fewer clients? And if it makes sense, why isn't everyone actively trying to market to these higher paying clients? Why do most photographers still direct their marketing 
to the majority who are looking for a good deal. Why are most photographers trying to compete with hundreds of other photographers instead of positioning themselves in a completely different market with hardly any competition? And I think the reason is that most photographers like you worry about whether these great clients actually exist. And even if they do exist, you're afraid you won't be able to find them. And even if you do find them, you worry that you won't know how to get them to book. And even if they do book, you're afraid that you won't be able to give them the experience or the products that they expect. But there are photographers out there doing it already. So you know it's possible to work with fewer clients at much higher price points. So if it's possible for them, why isn't it possible for you? As usual, your limiting beliefs, your fear and your resistance, they're holding you back from something great. Don't get me wrong, you can't just suddenly 4x or 10x your prices and then these marvellous clients start lining up outside your front door. There's a whole lot of learning and hard work that needs to be done before that happens. But if you're one of the few who's willing to invest that time and effort, then those clients will be all yours. No one said it was easy. If this has all made sense to you and you want to get started on that journey, then you should definitely sign up for one of our free masterclasses right here. Just make sure you bring your A game to your class because there's a workbook and tasks for you to work through and everything. But maybe you're ready for even more than that. If you think you might be, then you should check out our membership for ambitious photographers for brave photographers because that is where the fun really begins.